These fighter jets have just been scrambled. They are on a mission to find a plane which has been hijacked by terrorists somewhere between Poland and Russia. Their job is to escort the hijacked plane back to the ground safely. Monitoring their actions in the air traffic control center in Moscow is Lieutenant General Potapov, director of the Russian National Anti-Terrorist Committee. He immediately contacts his Polish counterparts. After close coordination, the two centers decide that the Polish and Russian fighter jets need to move in immediately. This is the exercise Vigilant Skies 2013 in action, a real-time crisis response test organized by the NATO-Russia Council. The objective is to test the air surveillance and information systems of the NATO-Russia Cooperative Airspace Initiative, which was launched in 2002 in the wake of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. For the last 11 years, it has developed concrete cooperation in monitoring airspace and coordinating air traffic, so that NATO countries and Russia can together handle a terrorist hijacking in the skies. It's not only about uh, sharing information. Uh, of course, uh, you need to share information. And for that to happen, you need to have uh, common procedures uh, so that you uh, can very easily exchange that information, uh, uh, read that information, uh, give the interpretation that you have to the information, and then decide on actions. At the same time, at the Air Traffic Control Center in Moscow, Experts from NATO nations, Russia and other partner nations are studying the data received from the Russian and Polish systems. They communicate with the Polish Coordination Center in real time. Every new exercise of ours is a major step forward. When we develop the exercise plan, we try to make the scenario as complex as possible so that operators and military pilots can operate in more and more difficult circumstances, in combat conditions, so that they will work more effectively. Some civilian personnel, operators and combat pilots are now taking part in the exercise for the first time because they do not have the practical skills to operate in these conditions. This part of the exercise ends with the hijacked plane being safely escorted back to the ground. Vigilant Skies 2013 is the third such exercise helping nations to improve their responsiveness to threats in the air. This year it was held over several days in areas between Russia and Poland, Turkey and Norway. This is a NATO Channel TV report.